Yo, what's good, everyone? It's your boy. Today, I'm at the Toronto Regionals. I'm not happy how I did, bro. If I can 10th place, I will have to finish first. If you're not first, you're last. Shout out Ricky Bobby. I should have win. I should have win. But at the end of the day, I learned a lot. And this video, I'm going to teach you guys everything I learned in eight rounds of playing. How many people were playing today? 200, 300? Yeah, like 20 something. 250 player regional. You learn a lot in a whole new format. So if you're going to play Spike this format, there's so much information you need to learn. This whole video is a guide, in-depth guide. Every Splite player, let's get straight into it. Before we do though, shout out the cameraman. First place at Regionals. I know. Shout out Shad, my man. Yes, and now, shout out my playmat, the most beautiful player in the game. Where can they get this from? Tripgaming.com. Get yours now, boys. If I played on this, I lent it to the champion who won, obviously. Yeah, you yeah, man. I would've got first place too, as with you guys. So get yours now. With that being said, I'm going to show you guys a deck profile. Pay close attention to the end. There's lots of spice, lots of cards people do not play. That is vital, mandatory, important. Different from my past videos. Very important. First things first. Let's get straight into it. Also, one more thing. Shout out uh, to myself because I'm the GOAT. All right, let's get into it. Three blue, three jet, three starter. Okay? There's one card in my deck box. The card is called Splite Trash. <laughs> Do not play Splite Smashers. I despise this card. I would be XO if it wasn't for this shit. Garbage. You draw in conjunction with other cards. It's just another Draco bag that doesn't actually do anything. It sounds crazy, right? Oh, I have Smashers. Oh, I could banish a card. Yeah, it's not that easy. It's not like just banish a card like Draco for free. It's like you're getting a free card like that. No. Starter does the exact same thing. Gets the interruption. It's an interruption on its own, but it's not a brick. Do not play with Smashers. It's a brick. So you play with these nine, and now this is where it gets important. For those who've been following me knows how much I'm preaching to play a Brave, right? You need to play this package. I'm not like, it's not a debate. It's not a question. Like it's split by itself. It's so easily be like destroyable. Don't like, please, if you're playing split, you need to play Enchantress. One Rite of Aramis here outs the entire tier element board. One Rite of Aramis here back with a few cards I'm gonna show you outs any board. You need to play them. It's just not like a question. Before I cut, okay. before, yeah. before I cut you off, how many times have you won seeing these cards? It, every game. You, you just need to see it. My prosperity, if I don't open one of these seven, I'm prospering for six. I don't, go, I don't care about Dark Ruler. I don't care about Evenly Mash. I will use Spike cards to bait all my opponent's cards. Just to end on a right faithful Griffin. Not because a Griffin's good. Not because it gives me two extenders to Selene Axis Code. Not because it gives me uh, free extenders to kill them. Not because it gives me Draco back. Not because it gives me Faithful. Not because it wins the game. Not because it gives me a water for area to get towed. But for all 17 of those reasons, come by. Next, there's another huge engine of the deck. I call it the Board Breakers. This is an engine. This is why I'm putting these together. There are zero hand traps in this deck. So when you combine, whether you're going first or second, you have nine auto wins. Seven auto wins, nine auto wins. Combine that with three prosperities, you now have 12 splite auto win cards, 10 brave auto win cards, 12 board breakers going second. 12, 10, and seven, sorry, 12, 12, and 10 of the best engine in Yu-Gi-Oh. Why the, on God's green earth would you not want this? And now post side deck, when you're going second, you're not touching any of these cards. You're touching the rest of them. So now imagine when you're going second, I'm gonna show a little parts of the side deck quickly. Now imagine you're going first, right? And you have stuff like this. The most broken cards for, like you're going first. Like any card you draw is just auto win. Now imagine you're going second, right? All these, but you have all these. Like going second, like how do you lose? You guys get what I'm saying? So this is why you need to max out on these crazy cards. So why Smashers sucks to draw. Draco Back's the only brick we're playing. All right, so these are the ones that are just absurdly broken. Which is why I wanted to throw them together, because it's a three-engine deck, it's not a two-engine deck. And now this is where it gets crazy. So it seems like it might be a two mid-range, not a crazy end board. This is where you win the duel. Not the totally awesome, which is the backup. Also, don't forget as well, you can swap Enchantress to Special Summon to get your level two to Special. It's a huge play, don't forget that. The main reason, okay, the main reason is because of Gale Dogra, okay? So, everyone knows the normal splite board. Loses to one, what's an Entermit Slay? That's what it's called, right? Your, your card you have in your side deck? Ultimate Slayer, Ultimate, Ultimate Slayer. Slayer. Yeah, Ultimate Slayer. 
why would you want to lose to one Ultimate Slayer? Shadol Shizam outs any board. Any board. When you let your elements play, you could have one Shizam pass. Let them play. Let them summon. You have to use two effects. Can Kalos mill eight? Like right before they're about to mill eight, you flip up Shizam. Send Can Kalos to the graveyard. Let them mill eight. Well, they can't summon shit. You, you wait. You do it properly. You wait for them to commit to some cards, then you do it. One Shizam, properly timed, outs everything. And it doesn't lose to Dark Ruler or nothing. This is why you need to play it. And now here's what makes this broken. I use Gale Dogra twice. 6,000 life points, 2,000. Setting Illusion and Abcolone to get Shizam. You have Souls for follow up. Amazing. You win the duel. The only way the opponent wins now, you have Splite Starter set, by the way, right? The only way your opponent wins is if they enter battle and attack, right? Battle phase, Splite Starter, Special, Splite Blue. This is what my deck was missing the entire time. I can't believe I'm playing this. Splite blue and battle phase. Search Splite Honest. So now, you have 2,000 life points. Who gives a shit? You just went plus 1,000. And what are they going to do? Attack over... Pendant's best deck. Attack over total... Attack over your window. This is a damage step honest. And it's a free extender. So this versus drawing this. Tell me what's better. What do you guys think is better? Tell me. What do you guys think is better? Something that's a brick that doesn't help you, or a card where it just all you need is a level two extender. It's an extender. It's not a brick, but you save it as a hand trap they don't expect, or search it to save you from losing, uh, getting attacked into. Vital, fucking vital. Please, amazing. I wish I knew about this earlier. And then one of each splite. Where are the bricks, guys? More extenders. Like all these cards, what bricks? They're extenders. All these are extenders which is the beauty of this deck. And Swap with Enchantress are extenders. Shout out Toronto Shore. Pen, so my best friend, let's best go. Deck. Best friend. Pen best deck. And lastly, you yeah, have the Draco back. So that's it, that's the deck. It's absolutely incredible. And now the side deck is super fast. Going first, you put in these. Another very important reason you must play Illusion of Chaos uh, in the, with Herald and all that, is that when you hard draw the Scythe, you specifically in your combo, send Illusion, to make sure specifically to put Scythe back in the deck. And then when you get Abcolone, you go Abcolone to discard the Illusion. Doesn't matter. You have the Scythe, good. And then you're Sanctum safe now. Very vital. So when you combine these with the already auto win cards, what's up? I want you to know. Yeah, let me guess, I want you to know that you yeah, suck. Okay. You're trash. Okay. Don't finish first place. This guy told me that 10 times already. Why? Because it's expected. LeBron James was in the first round. What's LeBron James gonna hear? You're trash. 10th is fucking dog shit. Ten is little, second is dog shit too. The only place that matters is what my boy Merc got. Huh? Yeah. First place. Go First place, there. baby. And lastly, uh, in the side, uh, three evenly, no two lightning, dino, reboot, re uh, duster. Know where we're, we're Incredible. We're and lastly for the extra deck. Lastly for the extra deck. So you're playing these just super fast. You guys can catch that. So you're playing these for that package. It comes up a lot. Okay, play them. Trust. And now the XYZs, don't play Sky Cavalry. You don't XYZ in this deck. You don't XYZ in this deck. You never do. You don't need it. The summons are getting splayed. It's like attack Zeus their ass. It's a waste of a card. You link summon a lot. Three elf. Mandatory. We're playing two, play three. And this is what wins a lot of games. Selene access code. Climbing with both of these. Because your your deck is uh also you play area to seal toad in the mirror. Uh, very vital, very vital. You need to play them. Don't cut anything. If I could play a 16th card, it would be Nightmare Cerberus for Iria. But Iria does come up to steal Toad in the mirror match. That's the list. That's the not the list I played today. I learned that this card is dog shit and that I need Pixies for this combo. Rip it up. Thank you. Rip it up some more. Dog shit. Dog shit. There's reason it's common. It's ass. It's ass. Actually, you know what? It doesn't belong in this map. You know what it, where it belongs? Where does it belong? It belongs in Exactly. You can't even talk right to where all the germs are. Play it, exactly. It can't, it can't be on a Trift Gaming playmat. No way. It belongs right here. No, exactly. There you go. And you want to know there who else belongs on TriftGaming.com? All of you guys. That's facts. So get, get, go get your mats. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.